Now that my diesel van's pretty much all done, the last thing to do is get that speedometer working and see if I can get an electronic speedometer working with a cable type speedometer system on the old Volkswagen transmission. So, I have the speed sensor and wiring connector off of the old engine and transmission. The original computer is still hooked up in there. So let's turn the key on and give this thing hand rotation and see if the speedometer works. And as usual I got a helper kitty. Right Teddy? Well you poor baby. You don't want to get your feet wet. So key on. Speedos stationary. Got the sensor up here. I got the little gear taken off it. We'll rotate. Oops. Okay, that's working. I'm just rotating it by my fingers. Let's try rotating it the other direction. Yeah, works just as good. Doesn't make any difference what direction you rotate it since it's just an AC signal coming off there. Cool. Well, now I think I can easily connect that to that. It's got a small little end, the same size as the speedometer cable inside there. So if I just cut that off there, get rid of the outside cover, get a little piece of rubber hose, like the kind that might feed your wiper arms for the washer system, you know, like that stuff. Join the little piece of cable from there to the little piece of cable there by shoving a rubber hose on. Then it makes like a universal joint coupler. Then just make a little metal bracket that will attach to that hole and maybe MIG weld it or clamp it onto the hose clamp to that metal cylinder. Then this piece will be like that. That can go back in the transmission hole down there. And it should work. Let's do it. Well, chopping that up with the zip cut saw just took me 10 seconds. Now I got a piece of flexible rubber windshield washer line to shove on that end. And shove together with that. Okay, now just cut the rubber and shove the other piece on. Perfect. Now the two are joined together and alignment doesn't have to be perfect because the rubber will act as a universal joint. Now I just got to make the little bracket. Sweet. So there it is. Just a bolt welded as a stock to the little hold down plate and a nut that fastens it. And it's all rigid. Doesn't have to be perfectly aligned because the rubber acts as a perfect flex joint. Now ready to install and Go test it and see if there's speedometer error. So, there it is. It's all mounted. Clears my shifter mechanism when it's fully engaged in that direction. Now just plug the wire in and test it out. Wire's on. Well, because I've got a herd of jealous haters out there, they'll call the police on me if I make a video showing driving with an electronic device that's handheld, you know, like a cell phone or a camera. So I'll do my little test with that wheel jacked up in the air and we'll start it and see what happens. Then I'll just go for a drive without the camera and see if there's any speed error. Now well, let's put her in second for a first try. Now remember haters, I'm not driving. So you can't call the cops on me on this one. <laughs> Suckers! the clutch go. Oh, she's working. Let's try third gear. Oh, sweet. Fourth. Yeah, baby. Now fifth. Uh, we're motoring. We could get to the beer store real fast at this rate. Oh, sweet. The last thing to do now is temperature gauge. Gotta love it. Now for the test drive.
Well, that all worked out great. But just as I predicted, same problem as the last speedometer in the other van. It's 40% too fast. Now we'll have to try that potentiometer or resistor thing and see if it makes a difference. Oh well. But it worked well. Okay, I've cut the pair of wires that makes that sensor work and I've added a little potentiometer in there. Now I'm going to adjust it in random positions and see if it makes a difference. Okay, we're idling in fourth gear. Let's see what the speedometer shows. And it says we're doing 38 kilometers an hour. Now let's go turn the knob. Still says we're doing 38. Let's turn it some more. Oh, we lost everything. Thirty-eight. So it doesn't work by voltage, it works by frequency. Let's throw a diode in there then. Oh well, just tried a diode. The speedometer doesn't work. Hooked up in either direction, so we're back to the same as we used to be. A little bit of error. Too bad.